Uh, this morning, British Prime Minister David Cameron says the UK is ready to accept thousands more migrants flooding into Europe. Hundreds of families stranded in Hungary are right now facing off with police. The Central European nation is being overwhelmed by thousands of migrants trying to escape war in Syria and other countries. Charlie Dagada is in Bichka, Hungary. Charlie, good morning. Good morning to you. You know, standoff doesn't quite cut it this morning. It's surreal. There you've got the migrant train that was stopped yesterday. In front of it, a few pro Hungarian police standing around, the world's press watching, nobody doing anything about it. Shouting Germany and freedom, the migrant turned protesters showed little willingness this morning to give up and hand themselves over to police who seemed just as determined to wait this one out. The drama began when desperate migrants packed onto the first train they could at the Budapest station. They thought or hoped it would be bound for Germany or that direction. But 45 minutes outside the capital, the train came to a stop. Riot police were waiting. It was a trap. When police started pulling migrants off, others realized what was happening and refused to go. A woman with a baby pled not to be taken away. In the melee and despair, a man they were traveling with grabbed them both and fell onto the tracks. Police wrestled to control the man, then dragged him away. We got on board the next train out, and though this one traveled almost two hours close to the Austrian border, it ended the same. There to meet us were dozens of Hungarian police and lines of buses to herd the migrants to refugee camps. For Yusuf and his family from Aleppo, Syria, it felt like the end of the line. Yusuf, what's happened? They are pulling us like animals. I have three babies. They will die. If we stay there in Syria, they will die. We come here to save their life. Of course, Hungarian police would like to send these migrants and every other migrant off to refugee camps, but we're hearing this morning is several hundred migrants have escaped a refugee camp in the south. Nora? Charlie Dagada in Bishka, German, uh, Hungary, rather. Um, it's just so Images difficult. Images are very hard to see. It's very difficult to see. This is such a huge story. Um, and Europe's having a very hard time responding to it. Yeah. Thank you, Charlie.